Yeah, you know, first and foremost, as the mayor of a beautiful city uh, of Albuquerque, I want to wish everybody a happy holiday season, a Merry Christmas, and just a wonderful new year. We look forward to 2017. Uh, as a community, a lot of exciting things happening here. Uh, but we also want to make sure that we remind people during the holidays that as much as we enjoy spending time with family and friends, that if uh, we make irresponsible decisions when it comes to drinking and driving, that that can end in catastrophe. And just to make our point, and we do this every time, um, we have brought an example for the public to look at. And I wish I could say that it was hard to find these examples, but all I have to do is call Chief Eden and say, hey, go find, uh, go find another car that was uh, banged up in a, in a DWI accident every time he shows up with a new one. Uh, and that's unfortunate. Preliminary numbers show that there were 1,548 DWIs uh, in 2016. And that number is, is too high. And this is just one example behind me. This car uh, was being driven by an individual uh, named Gregory Padilla on June 25th of this year. Uh, he was weaving in and out of traffic on I-40 for about two miles until he finally uh, crashed at I-40 in Wyoming. Uh, observers at the scene saw him stumble out of the vehicle. Uh, he was tossing many bottles out of his uh, car, uh, many alcohol bottles uh, out of his car across the wall. Uh, he then refused a sobriety test, but was certainly uh, visibly intoxicated. Luckily, in this case, there were no fatalities, but that's not, unfortunately, the case many times. But other situations uh, in our community and around New Mexico have ended in tragedy. And the thing that we want people to remember is DWI is 100% preventable. 100% of the time, you can avoid getting behind the wheel of your vehicle after you've had even one drink. And that's what I'm asking people to do. Let's enjoy the holidays. Let's get out. Let's spend time with family and friends. Let's celebrate. And let's do it responsibly. Year after year, the National Highway Traffic Administration uh, reports that some of the deadliest nights on the road are due to drunk driving that occurred during the holiday season. Between, 2000 and 2000, uh, between 2011 and 2015, in the month of December alone, 14,000 people lost their lives in motor vehicle crashes uh, that were involving DWI. Of this total, 28% uh, died in a crash that involved a driver with a BAC uh, blood alcohol level uh, of 0 .08 or higher. So we know that drunk driving can have catastrophic results. And so what we're gonna to do today, I'm gonna to let Chief talk to you in just a minute, but I wanna tell our community that we have, there's, there's just a lot of ways that you can avoid getting behind the wheel after you've been drinking and driving. A number one, give your keys to a friend. You've got friends, you've got family, get a ride home if you can. Uh, but we also have a great opportunity with Uber in our community. And with me today is a young man named Isaac Sanchez. I had a great ride over here. In fact, I brought an Uber to this press conference today. Uh, he's going to talk to you a little bit about what he does uh, with Uber. And we've also got Maui Orozco with us. Uh, she's from Uber. Uh, she's our regional representative from Uber. And here, here is the, the offer that Uber is making this year. For any first-time user of Uber, uh, you can get a free ride up to $15 uh, in the city of Albuquerque. And if you do that, five of those $15 are going to go straight to MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. So not only are you going to be doing the responsible thing personally, but you're going to be adding to the uh, resources available to combat drunk driving uh, in the city of Albuquerque and in the state of New Mexico. The code that you would use for that is NYE, like New Year's Eve, ABQ. NYE, A N Y E A B Q 2000. Okay. I've only been doing this for seven years. Let me start again. So the code that you're going to use for Uber is N Y E A B Q 17. So that stands for, you can think of it as New Year's Eve, Albuquerque uh, 17. But you can do this all the way from the 21st through the 2nd of January. So there's a long window here. So we wanted to get people uh, familiarized with Uber, the great service that they are in our community. You have other options in our community as well, uh, but this is a great chance for you to do the right thing. I'm gonna have Chief Eden talk just a minute uh, about what we're doing here. Then we're gonna have Isaac, a really sharp young man uh, who gave me my ride in Uber today. I'll give you some words of uh, wisdom from his standpoint as well. So Chief. Thank you, sir. You know, year after year, we hold press conferences to talk about you don't have to drink and drive, and it's, it's, it's true over and over and over again. One of the things I was thinking about was one of the first DWI accidents that I had uh, to investigate as a New Mexico State Police officer involved a three-year-old child uh, that was killed as a result of a drunk driver. 
and how devastating it was to me personally to watch the autopsy of that three-year-old. Especially my wife and I had a daughter who was about two and a half. And I, I, I said to myself, I don't understand why people do this. There's so many different choices that are out there and, and you do have choices and they're responsible choices. Um, and remember your family and the effect that it will have on your family for future generations when you're involved in a drunk driving incident. Um, I would just encourage everybody to do the right thing. Be responsible, enjoy the holidays, but do not drink and drive. There's so many great opportunities for you to share rides, um, have a designated driver. All of these things are working. So please do not drink and drive. Mayor? Thanks. So a couple things that I, that, you know, when, when the, the whole ride sharing economy came around and we were having all the uh, disputes in New Mexico about should we allow, should we not allow, if you'll remember, we, uh, we, made, we took the aggressive step to allow Uber uh, to, to pick up and drop off at our airport. And um, it's been a great opportunity for a couple of reasons. Number one, it gives us a chance to get home safely. Number two, it creates jobs in our community. Isaac's going to talk about that. Uh, it allows people in our community to earn either their primary or secondary income um, by being a, a, an Uber driver. So I'm going to have Isaac talk to you a little bit about uh, what he does every day. And uh, he gave me an awesome ride over. He's got an awesome looking car. I don't know where it went, but uh, it's a good looking vehicle. So I appreciate the, the safe ride over, man. Thank you so much. Isaac Sanchez. Hello, everybody. My name is Isaac Sanchez. I'm honored to be here today with Mayor Barry and Police Chief Egan. Thank you guys for having me out here today. I've been on the Uber task force for approximately about a year now. It has been a blessing. I cannot tell you how many countless times I've actually picked up a group of people, you know, celebrating and thankfully they're actually using us as a safe way to get home. Keep in mind that one drink is way too many, especially if you're planning on getting out on the roads. Please do not do it. We highly encourage you to use any other safe ride service or whatnot that is being available. Keep in mind Uber is here for you and that code is NYEABQ17. Once again, thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you so thank you, Isaac. Enjoy the ride over. So, so Isaac, great I, job. I, Isaac got it right the first time, so uh, you got to run for mayor, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, so uh, NYEABQ17 is the code. Uh, get on there. Your initial ride up to $15 is free. Five of those dollars go right to Mothers Against Drunk Drivers. Uh, just go out there and do the responsible thing. And remember, you know, if you've had a drink or two and you want to leave your car at a friend's house, uh, you call an Uber, they get you. It's easy to get them back another Uber in the morning to go get your car. So it, it couldn't be simpler. Uh, it couldn't be more affordable. It couldn't be easier. And at the end of the day, it's just the right thing to do to protect you and your family and your community. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and please be safe.